Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. What a beautiful, beautiful morning. Big difference from the past couple of days. Got some blue sky out here this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Sixty four degrees. Expecting our high today to be up around eighty two. Wow. Paradise. Absolute paradise out here this morning. There's Barbara and Karen just up the beach there. Setting up their seashells on the seashore. <laughs> Look how gorgeous it is this morning, man. Well, our friends Mike and Mary from New Jersey out on the sandbar. Wow. Lots of people out here shelling. Tide is pretty low. The water is absolutely gorgeous. The weather, the water. Good morning, Southwest Florida. Man. find something interesting. Where's those dolphins? This would be a perfect morning to see some dolphins. Look how flat it is out there. sky all around us this morning. If you're new to the group here, make sure you introduce yourself. Let everybody know where you're watching from. 
That's what these beach walks are really all about. It's about bringing people together here on Facebook. There's a little turkey wing shell down here, buried in the sand. A little turkey wing. Well, even though it's low tide here, I'm not seeing a whole lot of shells. Quite a little drop off now along here too. Maybe a little tulip shell down here. What do we got? Yep. There's a little baby tulip shell. That's a nice one. A little banded tulip. morning. Well, that's a little fighting conks on the beach. There's a little fighting conch shell. Nice one, it's got some nice, nice little point on it. Ooh, there comes some pelicans sneaking up behind me. No red tide out here. <clears throat> no red tide. Boy, that water looks nice. Here's a piece of a the shell of a little leopard crab. Just a little piece of the shell of one. Beautiful little crabs. How's it going out there? My treasure for the day. What the heck is that? It's gonna get thrown away. And That's why I've decided to start wearing these shoes. There's a lot yeah, of yeah. junk. Did you right. find anything good? Just a piece of calcite. Calcite, another piece of calcite. Yeah. Mm. No shark's today. teeth? No shark's oh boy, teeth. I thought you'd be finding them out here this morning. No, I thought you would. I thought you would have found some by now. Not yet. Huh. Oh, it's pretty out here. It is gorgeous. Did you see any dolphins yet? No. This is a great, a great morning to see them, though, man. They come by. Gorgeous. Gorgeous morning. Everything good? Everything's, Everything's good. good. Same with you. How could it not be good? <laughs> yep. Take care of that. Yep.
There's Barbara getting all set up here with her shell collection. She'll be out here till 10.30 this morning. She'll be back again on Thursday and Friday. And then she'll be heading back up north. Oh, well, you're good back. Morning, good morning. You're back and right on schedule. I'm getting my treasures put together. I love it. And... Uh, you know most of them because you see so much when oh, you go yeah. on the beach. And um, I I saved yours. This is That's, it. Yep, it's the kind of yellow one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they say the ones that are are pinkish are more valuable. Really? Hmm. No, I don't know if that's pinkish. No, uh, that looks yellow to me. <laughs> Somebody was asking me the other day. They said, Can "You get barbed." They caught the tail end of. You were telling people about these egg casings. Uh huh. And you were, she wanted to know about what that was. And I would be happy to tell everybody about that because this is not unique to the lightning whelk, which is what this is. Uh huh. It's, it's also with the uh, horse conch and many others. Mm -hmm. Oops, I've got to have this though to show you. I'm. Yeah, a lot of people, these get really long, too, these egg casings. Oh, I've got some that are three feet long. Yeah, I've seen huge ones out here. People always wonder what they are. <laughs> Oop, what'd they find? What, what did you find over here? Some treasure? Did you find it or did they? No, she did. What'd you find? Oh, look at that. There's a shark's tooth. Is that, really, is, that really a, is that really a shark's teeth? You yes. touched it. It was untouched by human hands. Wow. You're the first human hand to have touched it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> wow, nice. Sitting right there. and You just right walked there. by it. I didn't come up here yet. Oh. I didn't come up here yet. I went up and was yeah, talking yeah, to Barb. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. yeah. I walked up there. Oh, that's yeah. But we wanted you to get us to see the first one. <laughs> Very good. This is the Rob shark. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's. I, that's what I figured. I figured there'd be a lot of them yeah. buried in here it's this nice morning. One. If you, nice one. Yeah, keep looking. That's I mean, if you go through all this stuff, that's the thing. But they're usually little teeny tiny ones. I have a friend of mine. She just sits there and she finds. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, but they're they're so small. And another piece of metal. I um, ah. need metal this morning. Oh, I was picking up several large oh, pieces nice. of broken glass recently on the beach. Oh, really? That were sharp. And I'll pick them up because I don't want to leave them there. And I thought, you know, Mike, for five bucks, let's pick up these. Because if I step on a piece of glass, you're ruined for the whole I know. I, I, step, I so. step on things every once in a while. But. Yep. Yep. It happened. Well, congratulations. You're, well, as I said, it's the Rob Tooth. <laughs> the Rob Tooth. I love it. I want to get back up here. We were talking about that egg casing. <clears throat> I'm going to write that down so I don't, I don't forget it. Exciting. And you you do fossils, both of, of shells and... We look for fossils, any kind of fossil. Can you tell me anything about this? Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, Isn't that, what, what, oh, that might, what kind of shell that no might be? I have no idea. It has yeah. just one valve, so it must be a type of clam. Right. Or, or like a clam. I don't think it's fossilized, though. That's what I was wondering. I've got... I've, I don't think it's fossilized. No, I think it's just it's a, a clam. clam that's... What is it? No idea. I've never, never seen, and, no. and the people that, that know shells... Nobody's come up with any answers. No one's no, come I'm, up with an answer? Never seen. Even those that you expect, it's the layering on it. Right. That's so yeah. interesting. It's yeah. my mystery. It's I have definitely more, not in the oyster family. Too, that, <laughs> oh, good. good. Yeah, yeah. But, but they're all up north. They'll be here <laughs> next year. They'll be here. No, I think it's, it's something current, but what? <laughs> None of the books have anything on it? I don't have all my books. Oh. These are the only books that Karen has. You know what the one thing that's wow. my morning. beach husband. <laughs> you are alive. 
Yeah, you know me. <laughs> Scott. Busy boy. I thought you were going to be out here yesterday with us. Well, you know. You know. <laughs> yesterday I was working. Oh, did you have to work? Yeah, I worked during the day. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to go in at 1130. But... Oh, nice. Man, this beach has changed a ton. High up this is. Yeah, it's gorgeous out here though. The past couple days were really foggy. These guys just find the shots too. Oh, awesome. And um, Kelly's wife was is handling that. And so I'm walking around looking for different ones and I saw this and I took a tour. And I said, what is this? And she said, I don't know. I didn't even know I had it, she said. <laughs> I didn't, and I, I said, well, I was looking because usually they put the cost of it on there and there was no sign on it. So there's a chance it's not from Florida. Oh, there's a good chance it's not Most from likely Florida. it's not from yeah, Florida. Yeah, some of my things are not from Florida. But, um, and, and so she said, just take it and mm. find out where, where it came I'd post from. It. I'd post that. That's a great idea. Yeah. I'll do that by tomorrow and then I can report back. <laughs> there you go. There you go. We love a mystery, don't yeah, we? Yeah. Can you take a show. close look if anybody knows what this is? It is it's wild. layered yeah. in a beautiful way. Wouldn't want to step on that thing. You sure wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's get everybody together and see if we can't yeah. get Looking this shell an identified. There's a lot of shellers out there that yeah. ought to be able to help us you out. You know, you said a lot of your shells aren't from here, but like we were saying yesterday, a lot of the shells we find here aren't from, from here, here that we find on the beach. And that's something I talk, you could even find shells from Africa here just because right. of the, the current. And, and, and yeah. I don't think we have these, the Murex, pink not, Murex, not seen here on the like beach. That. Not like that. But I found it on the beach, and I think it that came up amazing. from the Keys, which makes sense right. as it swings oh, yeah. around. Yeah. Where's my Murexes? Where are they? There they are. Yeah, there's the normal Murexes over you there. You had a good day. And you, you thank do. you for the shell. It was interesting. Next, next year when <laughs> good I'm luck here, there, Mike. I'll be here longer and I'll bring my fossil. Okay. Yeah, okay. she's got some neat fossils. I just love shells. Good Bye -bye. day. Let's finish. See you guys later. We were talking about those egg cases. We were talking about here's how you can find really long ones on the and beach. And you, you brought a good point. Um, they, my, I have some that are three feet long, wow. and when I see them on the beach, I take them home because by the time they hit the beach, they're, right. you know, not alive. And um, and then usually when they dry out, I shake them, and once in a while, I find one that has little ones still yep. dropping yep. out. Usually, there's a little tiny hole in each of the little yep. cells where they came out. Yep, absolutely. But that is that's the lightning. This whelk. is the lightning, the lightning whelk, whelk, and here. I'm going to show you These the babies little, that came out tiny of that. Baby lightning whelks. Look at that. They're perfect. Yep. Little, perfectly tiny colored. Lightning whelk shells. Perfectly. You can see the long tail that you yep. would see, and of course that would turn mm -hmm. into There's a to this bigger lightning whelk. And then, as you know, they get and huge. you will know from me next, <laughs> I have a lightning whelk that's yeah big. <laughs> well, they were they were coming up on the beach here about this big last week you know, a couple of weeks ago people were just walking around with them you bring up something that's so important people will say well there's no no good shells here or <laughs> you know all that kind of talk and and every day is different every single day you find you something can't new predict. out here if you see a, a couple olives like this Mm -hmm. then you'll probably see more yep. at that particular yep. time. Yeah, but they do. They come in like, I don't know, what you, like different groups. You know, one day do. I'll find whelks all over the beach. Or, one day or be olives. sand dollars. Or moon shells. Do you remember when all of the uh, nine-legged... Um, yeah, the sea stars, yeah. Yeah. They were, there were thousands you know, of... And they got <laughs> stranded up here was the problem. Well, you know what happened? They all died in the red tide. They all died. Well... I'm thinking two years ago, and they were the, um, <laughs> anyway. Up until, anyway. up until August, I would walk the sandbars and find them all over the sandbar, and live fighting conks. Yeah. I haven't seen any since the red tide, since August. I followed you um, it was horrible. from up north during this time, and it was a sadness, mm -hmm. but 
but I felt better for knowing what was going on right. than, than wondering, and you actually, thank you. Well, if you haven't been thanked today, <laughs> well, thank, thank you, you so it's much. My, and, my and pleasure. I know I mean, this that's what is, I do it for. I mean, to keep everybody in touch with what's going on. Well, and Sometimes you, it's not fun. No, but sometimes you have... You have wild creatures chasing each other <laughs> through the through the water, and it's so exciting. You <laughs> should is. mention too that if this is a left-handed lightning whelk, yep, and most of them are, but once in a while you get the prize, and that's a right-handed. Oh, there is actually a lightning whelk. It's oh yes, I know I'd... the pair whelks are on the other side. Right. But oh you yes. Can, you can actually find a lightning whelk with the I've got two the of them side. at home. Really? That go this way and that's how you determine it, wow. which which hand goes in. Wow. They're a little larger but I've never seen one any larger than say that. Neat. Yeah. I didn't know that you, you could find them both ways. Yes. Cool. Well. But it's rare. You, it's rare. <laughs> Very rare. It's rare. It really is. And like I said you can get a uh, horse conk is the same same at that so when you see them on the beach, pick them up and take them home, let them dry out, uh -huh. and then give that little shake. People would, people would say, what are those, spines from some big fish or something? I know. <laughs> they are kind of crazy looking when you see them. And, there's, and that's and, something I didn't see any of these on the beach this, this year now, either. That's, I know there's thing, puzzles, you yeah. know, and mysteries about yeah. what's going on. They, they say, sadly, there's a lot of dead stuff you know, on the bottom out there. We've got such a responsibility and we've we got do. to pay attention. We got and to. I would expect Florida to be the one state that would pay the most attention and get this mess cleaned up. Well, get it cleaned up. Our new governor's I, I hear it, on it, but I want more than than through the mouth. <laughs> yeah, talk more is than cheap. Talk. Well, he's he got rid of a few people. He fired all the people. It depends the... who who he brings in and how much authority he gives them to yeah. uh, determine. It should be people that study it, scientists, researchers, yep. that know what they're yep. talking about. And you need to take it out of the government's hands. It needs to be independent research. You know? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. This is, this is one that I picked up on the beach here, what and it's that? a clam. Actually, oh, it's a wow. very small, giant clam. I was gonna say, it looks like a giant clam. Yeah, it is. A baby giant Very, clam. very, but again, it's not known to be here. And so, you know, kind of keep your eyes open to something unusual. Wow. That is so cool. Yeah, and these things, I mean. I've got one that's like this. But they can get four, five, six feet, these clams. These, they call them man-eating clams. Man-eating clams. <laughs> not women-eating clams. No, for some man reason they call them man-eating <laughs> clams. I don't know why. Here's a, a shell that's a little unusual because it's so light. Now, where'd you find that? Up in northern Minnesota on Minnesota. the lake. Minnesota, okay. See, and you, you look at how fragile that is and you say, yeah. this is not an ocean shell. So look at, if you go north, look at your lakes and that and you'll find some interesting shells that, oh, yeah. um, this with like very, something it you'd never see survived. A fossil. You'd see like these, like fossils of these in stones. These... Wait, wait till next spring, um, next winter when I'm here, I'll bring my fossils and, and wow, we'll have it. That'll be fun. And I'll bring some of my big boys. And, you know, the my big boys. Big boys. All right, I'm going to walk up here. I'll be back. Um, okay. Good luck here. I'm sure you'll get some customers here. I'm here. Yep, you're here. I'm here. You're well, here you should till... mention that. that I'm not selling anything. Nope, not Those selling anything. Those are not anything. customers. Nope, just These are good my times. friends. These are shellers. <laughs> yep. And some of them are, are, we've talked about being a snob sheller. Yep, a snob sheller. <laughs> yep, we're all snobs. And sellers. those that are snobs know that they're snobs and are going to giggle when yep. they hear that. <laughs> <laughs> but come up and see Barb up here in Area 4. She's going to be here until 1030 today. 1030 today, and I'll be here tomorrow and, and Friday. Friday. Perfect. It's like the good old days. I love it. All right. See, see you in a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if Roy went this way or that way. Huh. <laughs> I don't see him. Yesterday he surprised me. He came walking up out of the fog from down the end. <laughs> His chair's still here. All right. He'll do anything, won't he? Now, he, he will. Best would try to sit in nope. Thing. He'll do anything. Roy's a ham. <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit. Some little shellers out there. You 
see the little shellers over there? <laughs> They'll probably be over here. I would just love to see some dolphins swim by us this morning. Barb is so nice. So knowledgeable about shells. She's got a huge collection. She just has a couple little things out here with her now. Because she's basically, she came down for a vacation, but she just couldn't stay away from the beach. Imagine that. morning. Beautiful out here. It's probably 65 degrees now, maybe, maybe even 66. That was a white ibis that just flew through the screen. We're gonna go find Roy, see what he's up to. What a difference since the past couple of days. Absolutely beautiful here. Absolute paradise. Here's a jewel box shell down here at my feet, an old jewel box. Worn down. Whoops, almost dropped it there. The jewel box shell. Gorgeous, gorgeous view this morning. The sand is really soft here. Sink way down into it. If you enjoy these morning walks, please hit the share button. Let your friends know what you're watching. Have them join in with us here. Nice and flat out there and so blue. The water picking up the blue sky this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. a broken tulip shell down here. Yep, I think we saw that yesterday. By uh, George, I think we saw that same tulip shell here on the beach yesterday or the day before. The tulips are beautiful shells, beautiful. Too bad it's chipped up. Little tiny piece of finger coral. Never remember what kind of shells those are. Neat looking though. Here's a nice little scallop. Nice little scallop shell. A worm shell over here. Looking for little 
babies. Sometimes you can find little baby moon shells. Little baby whelks. There's a broken olive shell, piece of an olive shell. I believe this is a, a drill shell, an auger shell. Another little banded tulip, I'm missing a piece of it there. There's a piece of a murex. Missing the tip, a lace murex. We were just talking about those murex shells up there with Barb. That's a lace, a lace murex. More little fighting conks down here. There's a little conch. I believe that's, I believe this is a nutmeg shell. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's a nutmeg. Lots of little tiny shells along the beach here this morning. All broken, ground up shells. I'm sure there's something neat down there if you take the time to look for it. That's what shelling is all about, patience. Just take the time, you'll find something. There's a little sand dollar. This one's got a little chip in the edge of it. Little baby sand dollar. Haven't seen any live sand dollars since the red tide either. No live sand dollars, no live sea stars, no live fighting conks. You used to see a lot of live olives. These olive shells crawling around out there with the snails in them. Haven't seen any of those. The red tide definitely took its toll on our beaches. Look at that. What did I say about looking close? There's a little baby shark eye. Little tiny baby shark eye. That's a nice one too. In really good shape. You would never see that if you were just waltzing down the beach looking for big shells. Well, Roy's heading our way already. Coming down the beach.
Hey, welcome back. How are you doing? Yeah. That's who I think it is. Yeah, that's who you think it is. How are you doing? I'm okay. I haven't seen you for ages. Yeah. You've been away. Did you, is this your first day back at the beach? No. I've been here since um, mid January. Really? Yeah. Huh? I don't I've know been, how I missed it. I've been coming down, but maybe at different times. Uh huh. Is this his first day back? No. He's been out here. He's been out here now for a couple of weeks. Oh, I haven't seen yep. him until today. He hangs out up in the north end here. Ah. I usually walk right up to the end. He sits back a lot of times on the benches back here. Oh, right. But yeah, he's oh, having a good time. It's good to see. Here's our friend Roy. Yeah, what a day, huh? Sun's out. Isn't it a nice one? Beautiful morning, huh? Beautiful. Rob, you're coming to coming back at nine o'clock. I am. Where's your Iowa hat? Yeah, I got it in the car. You got the hat too? Huh? You got the hat? I got everything. Perfect. We need to see that hat. <laughs> yeah, I got just a pile of stuff I gotta get out of the oh, car. Oh, that's gonna be great. Yeah. Looking forward to that conversation. It's gonna be a good time. <laughs> and I got a new adventure for you too. A new adventure? Uh, uh. What is that? Well, I got up this morning. Let's see if we got time here for... What time is it? We should have time. Oh, 8, 8.30. Yeah, 8.31, yeah. Good, well, got what? up this morning bright and early, 5.30, because I uh -huh. wanted to come down here real nice and early and get everything arranged and be back there and et cetera, et cetera. So, I'm all set to go and I get in the car and you know, I'll open the garage door and I, I put my keys over on the side thing, unfortunately, where the garage opener is. Inadvertently, I didn't know it, but when I fumbled to get my keys, I must have touched the garage opener and the garage door went down, but I didn't know it. I back out my car, I hear this terrible crunch. Oh, I was... Jam on the brakes, I bammed into the garage door. It's all bulged out, I, I won't go up. I get out and there's the garage door, it's all bulged out and you can't shove it back in. I get my neighbor, I break, it's bright and early. Sure. But I go to the next door, I pound on the door, and my wonderful neighbor, he comes out, he's all bare chested. I he just got out of the sack. <laughs> and he says, yeah, I'll be right over. So he gets the sweatshirt on, he comes over and he kicks the door real hard. He can't get it in. Huh. So I say, I'll go get the neighbor from across the street. Oh, I said, take your car and push it in with your car. He says, I can't do that. That'll deploy the airbags. There's a good chance it could do that. So I. The neighbor across the street, he's got some older cars. So I go and I pound on his door. Oh well, boy. the one nobody answers on one, but there's a side door, there's two people left. I pound on that door. After a while, it opens up, he's all bare. He says, what's the deal? And uh, I've never met him, but he's a nice guy. He says, yeah, I'll get my car. He comes over with his car. Then, then they decide they should have some blanket. So right. he goes back to get a blanket. Then, then he comes back and he says, oh, I'll use the old car. So he brings that car back. <laughs> he gets the other car. He comes back. We get the blanket arranged. He gives the door a big shove, boom. It pushes it in. Huh. He pushes it again, the door's in. Of course, it won't go up. No. So the neighbor, he goes inside, he diddles around, and he finds out some of the wheels have jumped out of the track, and the mm, track's Sure, bent. that's a pain in the neck. Yeah. So he unhitches things and raises it up so I can get down here. I was afraid. I saw your door was open. I was wondering why. Yeah. Well, I was afraid with that. If I couldn't have got my car out, I couldn't even have got here at 9 o'clock if I had to get a garage repair man well, you could just drove through the door yeah right that's what i almost did <laughs> you could have just finished the job so here i am and i and now i gotta either he he said he'll come back and try to fix it but i don't know if he can and i might have to get a re garage repair man yeah they're probably gonna have to put a couple pan new panels in there well 
No, they, at least I didn't splinter them. I yeah. went real Is it slow. a wooden door? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's how all life goes, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Let me get your picture while I got you here in this great sunlight. Well, the good thing is you're out here and nobody got hurt. And yeah, they're right. The neighbor's car didn't get scratched up or anything, right? Yeah, and they were sure nice about it, I'll tell you. You know what? God watches over you. <laughs> it seems that way, even though I do stupid things. <clears throat> Man. Well, I'm just going to have to be more cautious and careful. Yeah. Well, let's walk down the beach. I'd love to. We can talk about talk about how health wonderful life is. Health. Health. Yeah. That's the next chapter in the book. Yeah, health. Health is chapter twelve. Health and happiness. Yeah. Health. health. Well, health is of course the most one of the most vital things of all. It is. Yeah. So you gotta do everything you can to preserve your health and uh, and uh, make use of the. Uh, the good doctor gets your che regular checkups, and and uh, now one thing I mentioned in my in my art book chapter is that uh, that uh, if there's some problem, you should uh, uh, go to see a specialist, get a second opinion too. Yeah, the specialists really really concentrate on all the different aspects of it. And, the general practitioner, he's a good man, but he, he can't know everything about everything. Right. So uh, go to see a specialist. Usually the general practitioner will recommend that, but, but you have to take your own initiative. Sometimes they don't. And you take your own initiative and go to a, another yeah. doctor or find out who specializes That's in right. your problem. It's, your health isn't something to play around no. with. No. And it's a life and death uh, uh, activity so uh, i think what could be more important right <laughs> <laughs> you also talk about how the importance of keeping your hands clean well yeah your wash book. your hands keep them away from your face i know it's a you know a tendency to put your fi fingers in your mouth or bite your nails or do something like that yeah and uh you wash keep your hands clean especially when you've been in a public building and Especially when you've been in a public washroom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's best not to even touch the ha handles if you can put a piece of paper of, towel uh, there. Yeah. A towel, a towel in between or something. But yep. Wash your hands real good and, and put a towel over the handle when you go back out. So, those are some things you can do and make use of all the modern technology, which is absolutely amazing and uh, and uh, enjoy the journey and have good mental health too there you go mental health so is very you, important so you enjoy enjoy yourself because a depressed attitude will, will pull you down and actually pulls down you ruins your health so yeah. a joyful positive uh, god relation to attitude to, well, actually improve your health you, you feel a lot better amen to that yeah i think we talked about when you pray they've scientifically proven that your brain creates serotonin yep when you pray yep and that's the happy gas the happy gas <laughs> so the more you pray the happier you are there you go amen to that <laughs> for a hundred reasons yep i'm gonna let you keep walking i'll catch up with you in a little bit okay. and maybe um well, Maybe back. I'll catch you before that other guy gets here, the other gentleman, and we're going to you're going to go over the book, all those pictures. Yeah, what was his name again? I don't know. I never met him. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, he's a good guy. But when he comes, maybe before he gets here, maybe he'll break out the harmonica for a song or two. Yeah. But I'll get, I'll meet you down here over by Audrey's bench. How's that? Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. All right. See you in a little bit. My good friend Roy. God bless him. A little walk and talk there about health. Chapter 12 in his book. You can order a copy of his book online at Amazon. It's not too big, it's more of a booklet. But in it he covers a lot of the things that he and I have talked about over the years here on the beach, all the different little subjects. 
as you just heard, health being one of them. And it's just kind of his advice on how he's, you know, what he's done and how he's made it to 94 now. So if you just Google Roy, R-O-Y, Roy Hase, H-A-A-S-E, you should be able to find his book on Amazon, Hase, H-A-A-S-E. You can get a downloadable version, a Kindle version, or you can order a hard copy. I just wanted to walk down the beach a little further. It's just so beautiful. It's an absolutely gorgeous morning here. The past few mornings we were all fogged in here. Not the case this morning. Not the case this morning. Gorgeous out here. The water. Look how nice the water looks here. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. No red tide out here. No red tide. That. that is absolutely gorgeous. The water's probably about eight inches deep here where I am. It's beautiful. Standing out in the water, looking back at the beach. Absolute paradise here. Absolute paradise. If you enjoy these morning beach walks, please tell your friends about it. Hit the share button. Join in the conversations here. I don't care what y'all talk about. We try not to talk about politics. Stay clear of politics. That's about the only thing we don't deal with. Just walking along here, looking down at the ground. Seeing if I can find any interesting shells. All of the shellers have already made their way up here this morning. But you, you, ne you can't find everything, believe me. You miss, there's always something you'll miss. This is just gorgeous out here. I don't know what the water temperature actually is. I'm guessing it's right around 60 degrees. It varies, especially in the shallows here. Obviously it's much warmer than out in the deeper water. Gorgeous though. Good morning beach walkers. I didn't mean to cut your conversation short there, but he got he got off on telling us about the garage door. <laughs> oh, Roy and his garage door story this morning. <laughs> you know, I love him to death, but I seriously wish he would reconsider driving at his age. There's an old cockle shell up on the beach. An old 
pole cockle shell. These are neat. The cockle heart. This one's got some barnacles. See, that makes a heart. Some people say it looks like an angel. And you hold it on its end. The cockle. paradise out here this morning. Just incredibly beautiful. It's funny how just, you know, four days ago it was like this. And we had three days of overcast. Now we're back to this beautiful, beautiful blue and green. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, what are you two doing behind my back? I was in trouble. <laughs> you are. We were thinking about pants in you, but. Oh, gross. <laughs> That's what we said, so we decided not to. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Did you find anything? No. Nothing? No. We walked out by the, out to the point. Well, almost. Well, almost to the point. We didn't want to bother the birds. But... Yeah, so we left them. Yeah. Walked out there. Did you see the dolphin or no? Did he come your way? I didn't notice him. When we were down here by Roy, up at the bench, he, was right he came here. right out here. Huh. And I, he was just playing out here when we walked up. Yeah, I didn't notice him. Just one? Yeah, just one big one, but this one. This is like perfect weather, you know, oh, perfect conditions to see him. I'm hoping there's a whole pot of them that's been coming by with the little ones and everything. I was hoping they came by. A lot of crab pots out there. Yeah. Crab pots? The crab pots, aren't all those white? Yeah, there's way out. Yeah, there's a line of them. There. Yeah, there's a line of them offshore. They're way out. There's that manatee over there. <laughs> the steel manatee. The steel manatee. Well, Roy's friend's supposed to be coming here shortly. Yeah, that's what I heard. Nine o'clock. Yeah, that'll be interesting mm -hmm. to see those two together. Yeah, yeah I gotta go check that out. <laughs> He's apparently younger than Roy. He was on the ship after. Oh, after, God, Roy. after Roy, he was, was on, it. on it during the Korean War. Roy was on it. Younger than Roy, huh? Well, yeah, there's <laughs> a lot of people, people younger than Roy. Yeah, yeah most not are. too many old. Probably on percentage. We saw him on the way up, though. He's pretty excited about this. Is he? Like, are oh, you yeah. going? Like, yeah, okay. yeah. He's excited. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Well, all right, I'm I'll sorry. see you back there at the bench. I guess yeah. that's where we're gonna be over the by the bench. Yeah, right. under the tree, so they can sit down. <laughs> Unless you want to roll that log over there for him. Oh, no. <laughs> it's new thrown. We might. You going, you going all the way up or no? I'm, I'm going to turn around. I'll see you in a minute. Scott and Karen. Great friends made through Facebook. It's just amazing how many people I've met through these beach walks. So many good people on Facebook. And I get to meet them face to face. That is the real thrill. So beautiful out here. Just can't get over it. As most of you know, of course, I don't get paid to do this. I do love coming out here. I do put a lot of time and effort and energy into these beach walks. I hope you find them entertaining and also educational. We've seen lots of fun things out here. We've also seen some sad things out here. We've seen the whole circle of life out here. Sometimes Mother Nature can be pretty cruel. It's not our business, though, to second guess her. Everything happens for a reason. 
But if you enjoy these beach walks and you're feeling generous and you want to make a little contribution, a little donation, it's always appreciated. Every little bit helps. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. Whether you send something or not, I appreciate everyone following along here. And again, if you're just joining for the first time, be sure to introduce yourself to everybody here. You might find a distant relative on here. You never know. Or you might run into your next door neighbor <laughs> right here on our beach walk. It's crazy. All the friendships that have been made. And that's what they're all about. I'm going to walk out into the water there for a little ways. You can see it's low tide here. I love walking out into the water and looking back at the beach on mornings like this. It's just so beautiful. One dolphin. I did not see the dolphin come by. Oh, this is, these are ideal spotting conditions here. Ideal spotting conditions. Or if a dolphin was to breach the surface here, it'd definitely be easy to see. Look how flat that water is. Beautiful. See the reflections on the bottom. We got to see Barb first thing here early on in our beach walk. She had some information about shells, some nice little information to share with us. And then we chatted with Roy there for a little while. We're going to see Roy again in a few minutes here. Reminiscing about his old Navy days, about the Iowa, the battleship Iowa. I was just taking a picture here. Sorry about that. Can't help myself. So gorgeous out here this morning. I see Barb's got a crowd gathered around her up there on the beach. People always want to hear from Barbara. They want to know what the shells are that they picked up on the beach, and Barb is here to tell them. So nice of her to come out here and share her knowledge with us. Beautiful. These 
Barbara up here. Oh, I see Bill walking up the beach. Yeah, somebody collected a pile of stones here. That's what our friends Mike and Mary, they look for fossils. There's, you never know what you're gonna find in these old stones. All kinds of fossilized shells in there. You just never know what you're gonna come across. People have found arrowheads out here. Pieces of really old bone. You never know what's gonna wash up on this beach or where it's gonna wash up from. Would somebody give you something? I'm gonna put a, couple of my blue a little crab. A little blue crab. That's a blue crab? Yeah, that's what he said when he gave it to me. A little poor little thing. <laughs> I have some bigger ones up the beach. You just gotta be more and bigger than what I've got here. Is that what you're <laughs> saying? No. No, <laughs> and what I'm saying is unfortunately there's some dead crabs on the beach. Oh dear. Oh dear. I don't like that. But that's a nice little size. Isn't that something? Yeah. But maybe it hasn't become too blue yet. Yeah, I don't it's know. still kind of like purple. Huh. Neat. Yeah. So I see you're getting a lot of uh, interested folks stopping by. We've had, a, and kids, wonderful children. Children, and, and that's the best. Yeah, and a nice family that came and they took my advice. Can you believe that? And that was, he said, can I get more sand dollars on the beach or in the water? And I just said, water. Absolutely. Went in and found sand dollars. Yeah. So. Really? Right out here? Yeah. yeah right, all, right there. Yeah, they're all just <laughs> offshore on this. There's a sandbar out there. And they just get caught up. Well, that's where they live. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it is. But I, I don't know if they're alive. I haven't seen them. And you know what I didn't have on my table? was a Florida fighting conch. No fighting conch, yeah. And so one of the little girls gave me her Florida fighting conch. Uh, I just tossed a cockle shell back in the water and emptied a whole one. I didn't know, I... <laughs> really? It was dirty. Dirty. It had barnacles all over it. It had character. Oh, yeah, it had character, yeah. yeah. That's what they say about the rest of us when <laughs> yeah, we get Yeah, we got character. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, you're interesting, or yeah. yes, you have character, or... Not that you're hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're all hot. <laughs> well, Roy's friend's supposed to be coming up here. I'm going to go see Well, and he's... he said that 9 o'clock you're having a get-together. Yeah. I'm going to go see if it's about well, 9 o'clock. him unload the car. Oh, okay. Great. Let's go see what's cooking up here. Roy... Hmm has brought in lots of memor uh, memorabilia. Oh, yeah. That's a mouthful. Memorabilia? Mm. Hmm. Never said that word. Never thought about saying that word. Big beach here at Area 4. It's one of the biggest beaches at the park. There's an osprey nest up here in the trees above me. At one point, it looked like the ospreys had returned and we're gonna use this nest. See it up there? They were flying back and forth, bringing new sticks and seaweed in. I think they use the seaweed as like a matting inside the nest, but I have not seen them up there lately. 
and apparently ospreys, they pair together. Well, son of a gun. What perfect timing. Did you see that? I guess they are using the nest. One just flew into the nest. That was pretty cool. So they might be up there, but as you saw, one just landed and we can't see it in there. So there is, they are using that nest. That was really good timing. But I was saying they, when they pair up, they pair up for life, the ospreys. Pretty interesting. One of the few birds that do that. Maybe one day we'll be looking up here and see little osprey heads peeping out. Little chicks, little babies, whatever you call them. <laughs> that nest is up in the tree, right up, up by where Audrey's bench is, in area four. Phil's up here getting Roy's books and papers and see what all they got <laughs> how are you guys doing good how are you today good we're waiting for roy's friend to show up i'm looking at roy's uh that's something book that, that book that bill put together yep. that was a lot of research went into that oh that's the one who signed it huh yeah well Worry, this Lord. is going to be interesting to hear them two talking. I hope he shows up. Have you met him? Oh, yeah. You did meet him already? Yeah, yeah. Hope he remembers. <laughs> He's supposed to be here. Well, at nine. We'll wait and see. Is he winter in Naples or? How you doing? Hey, hey Rob. Look at that How hat. Look at that hat. USS Iowa. Love it. Do you know where that is? That's a, that's a. It's out in Hawaii now. Out in Hawaii, it's in the mothballs. Yep. I don't know it's out in Hawaii. Roy's I mean, planning on going San, there for his 100th birthday. San Diego. I think the Iowa is out on the west coast. Oh, it's on the, I thought it was in Hawaii. Well, I want to head back out there to kind of see if the old church is, the old wooden church down by the sea is there where Audrey and Where I you got married there. in Hawaii? Yeah, yeah. I hope your friend remembers about our date here. Well, I thought he was the one who set it up, wasn't he? Yeah, he told Bill and... That'll be fun to hear you two talking about that old ship. The old Navy days. So I got a question for you. <coughs> I know the Iowa was a battleship. Yeah. What does BB stand for? Oh, that's just a Navy determination for a battle boat, I guess. Battle boat? That's... I don't know. <laughs> battle <laughs> that was, barge. That was, my, that was my interpretation of BB. Yeah. It's a battleship, really. I got that big poster, Bill. These are the classic What was the poster? Oh, where did you see it? Okay, the taxi control was that the, the picture of the ship firing the guns? Yeah. That was something. That was your birthday a couple years ago, <laughs> where you got all this stuff. <laughs> yeah. No, not when the guns were firing. Yeah, not when the guns were firing. Yeah, this is something. Roy, when were you on the ship? 45. 45. Just after the 45. That's the mascot of the ship. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Boom. That's the air, an aerial shot of it. Yeah. That's right. Hold the end, Roy. The other end. Wow. They blew this up for us. Wow. And those, those are the 
Those are those 16 inch guns you're talking about, huh? Yeah, something. Where you could see the shells coming out of them. Yeah, this guy blew this up for Roy. Nice. The USS Iowa. Commission 1943, decommissioned October 1990. Launched August 1942. Wow. He was on during the Korean thing. This other guy who was supposed to be here. And oh. you were. Yeah, he was on it after you. How long? How long were you on it? Do you remember? Oh, about a year. About a year. Yeah. In communications. Yeah, communications officer. And you were the admiral too, weren't you? Sitting in the captain's chair. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a picture of the radio room down here. Here's the. Yeah. The crossing of the. Where I had my office, my desk, and I had some radio men there. Uh huh. The desks, and I was in the. The communications and officer. I used to decode the, the messages, especially the, the top Ivy secret. They needed an officer for that. that so I decoded the top too. secret messages. I'd put on my sidearm and go up to the bridge, delivering to the admiral up on the bridge. Wow, Here's that's pretty special. Yeah. Now, did you? Were you working with deciphering the enemy's uh, stuff too? No, or? I. Well, we I, actually weren't. That's the tricky business. I yeah. wasn't into that. We really weren't this at war then. It was enough years. work deciphering our own code. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we had all kinds of. From John Durango, he's in charge of the boat right now. Whatever you call him. Uh, um, that they sent to Roy. I forget the word for him, but we had a whole big. They changed every every the hour. I think. Every hour and every day. The, the, the code so thing would change. Those yeah. machines? Did you use those machines? No, I, well... I forget yeah, what the I, name of those were. Yeah, I think so. We had to plug in the passwords and, and it kept changing and it was a tricky business. Oh, yeah. Well, they sent me to uh, communication school at Harvard. That was about three months. In fact, I was that? At, that was at, at, um, at Harvard. Uh, and it was in Harvard. They were, just, they were just using the Harvard oh, okay. buildings there. It was run by the Navy. And um, so you're a Harvard. That was about three three months school. In fact, I was there when the drafts when we dropped the bomb on the Japs, mm. and the war was over. Yep. So um, your brother. It took. It was about a three months course, and it was pretty intensive. Of how did how did this do this decoding? I can imagine. That was an interesting deal. I, I enjoyed it. And your brother Rudy, he was part of the he was surrender. On, he, he was, was there in, for the uh, surrender. He was in um, on the Missouri um, or the uh, what do you call it? Uh, collision maintenance or something. Yeah. You but he was there for the surrender. He was well, he was on, on the Missouri. The yeah, yeah. When the, in fact, there's a picture of that in here too. Yeah. When yeah. General MacArthur yeah, signed the signing of the um, yeah. Of the that was quite a day in history. Here. Yeah. Now there's a picture of the radio room in here where where I used to have my. Let's see, where's the radio room? My, yeah, let's uh, see the radio desk. room where Roy was. Yeah, the radio room. It doesn't saw. show my desk. Here it, it just shows. Yeah. Here, here's where Roy yeah. worked. There's the radio room where Roy worked. Wow. Was that you back there, or where were you? <laughs> Probably lurking. Hanging up there. There's, there's a desk way back there. It looks Is there? Like. Well, that's there's where a, I was. a chair back yeah, there, all the way down, down the end. But we had some there's radio operators, surrender. too. How many of you worked in that room? We had, huh? How many oh, of you worked in the, the radio signing? room? Well, there was about half of those the surrender. operators. Yeah. That's a hard picture. On the Missouri. They were taking wow. go. Well, that's another thing they taught us that. At Harvard, was I learned to take the code. You had to learn the code? Oh, oh, yeah. You know, the funny thing about the Navy, they ask you for your history, and I, I did put down that I was a, a ham radio operator. I got my ham license when I was a kid. I made a crystal yeah, set. Yeah, I know, you told me. <laughs> little crystal uh -huh. set where you put that <coughs> little needle on the crystal and fiddle <laughs> around it. <laughs> Manage to get somebody, you get your earphones, and you, you tap out, you get to meet people around the country. You tap out, it's, it's all code, you know. That was a lot of fun. So I put down, I had my ham radio operators. Well, when I, when I got my commission, they asked me what I wanted. To, you know, I said I wanted to be in the, in the um, uh, what do you call these landing, big landing things, because there, as an instant, I figured I'd be the, an exec, they only had two officers aboard. So and I'd be an exec for us. So I, I wanted to be in the, la oh, the landing craft. You're gonna land in a minute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hang on Landing there. craft, 
But instead, they sent me to communication school, apparently because I'd been, and then I ended up on a <laughs> battleship. That. So it was a little bigger. There was more than two officers on the battleship. Yeah, you think, eh? Yeah. <laughs> you weren't the head cheese. Did you tell them <laughs> no. when you went up to the, you were in the captain's seat and the... Uh, oh, yeah, tell know. us that little story. Oh, yeah, that was <laughs> fun. Well, my, my uh, battle station was, as you can see in the picture, communication center they had that way down uh, below the water line to, for a safe spot in the in the middle of the ship you know so but uh, that wasn't too exciting down there you couldn't see the sea of course so I used to they, they sneak up the Admiral's bridge and <laughs> um, and look around because I, I had to go up there to deliver the messages so I kind of knew. Weren't you doing a sextant thing or something? Well well, and then they taught us how to navigate. You know, you, you shoot the sun and right. get the elevation and the exact second of time, and you got big manuals and you can work it all out. You know, it isn't like these days. Right. Those days you got to work things out and it took a while. So I, I wanted to do that because we learned how to do it. So the Admiral wasn't around, and I, I knew the guys in, in navigation. And they were real nice, and they lent me their sextant. And I went out and I shot the sun and had the exact instant second of time and and then I had those I had to work it out you know and you where, where do I do all this paperwork well the admiral wasn't around so I sat in his chair which had a kind of a sideboard and I had dinked around again and I feel like somebody standing next to me and I turn and look and here's a sleeve with a gold bar about this wide and a bunch bunch more it's the admiral Oh boy. And I'm just an ensign. I leap to attention. I figure I'm going to be in the brig for the duration of the voyage. I leap to attention. He says, what's your job? I'm like, oh, my God. I said, I, I'm, I'm working out a sun site, sir. He, he just nodded, and he walked away. And I oh boy. figured he didn't know I wasn't in navigation. <laughs> so... so. You didn't go to the brig. No, the, the admiral's <laughs> chair. He didn't say anything that I was sitting in his chair. Wow, you're lucky. <laughs> Some of those guys are pretty tough cookies. Yeah, he was a nice guy. Wow. Yeah, and I, well, I didn't meet him, but I mean, he was a gentleman. And, well, you yeah. knew the captain. captain. You, you picked him out of the I picture the there, captain. didn't you? Well, yeah. Let's see the captain. Let's see what the captain, the captain looked like. Captain. Let's He's see what the there. captain of your ship looked like. You're there. That's all the captains. Yeah, there's. there's Roy, where where was the ship in? What, what year was it, Roy? Well, I joined 40? it in uh, on the west coast. We went out to Japan. That, that oh, page you went over to Japan. Page? Which yeah. page is which, it, Roy? Which where's your captain, Roy? On this page or the oh, other one, Roy? Here, what is the date here? That's 48. forty-five. Is here. Forty-five's up there. There's more on the other side, Roy. It wasn't it? Jennings. It was uh, here. There's the other ones. Which captain? Yeah, uh, there's 43, 44, 46, 47, 48. Or is it on the other side? Holloway looks very familiar. That was on 44. I don't know, maybe it was. What year were you on, Roy? Tarbuck could have been. I thought he said 45. If it's 45, Roy, to be here. There's 45. Does that ring a bell? Entwistle. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Captain Entwistle. <laughs> I met him. See, Captain Entwistle. That's that's, he came in there. Yeah, I remember <laughs> that name. Bye, George. That's, <laughs> that was him, all right. So, wow. A, a I forgot forget, the boy. But, I haven't thought of that name in I don't know how many years. <laughs> captain Entwistle. He was the captain of the ship when I was aboard. He was well, well, Bye, board. George. <laughs> <laughs> that brings old back old memories. I'll tell you. How about that? Captain Entwistle. Well, I'll be darned. <laughs> what other? You got any? Remember anything else you did there? I know. I know. We sat here one day with, with your brother, and we talked about some yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. My brother was <coughs> aboard too. Damage oh, control. Both that's what he was in. They were both on the same boat. Wow. Well, together, yeah, which they, is they, very they unusual. They don't do that. Yeah, Bryce, but, uh, there. What were the? What were the? Oh, here. Do you want to sit here? No, I'm good here. What were the sleeping quarters like? Oh, that was very comfortable. We had officers, so we. I mean, you know, officers had better better quarters than the crew crew you know good chow was, huh did you have good chow oh, oh yeah really good chow really? yeah yeah the navy always feeds you up real well so 
So it was, it was really good duty on that ship. Food is very you. important to Roy. That's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but does it tell in your book how thick the plating was? I know it tells. I don't know. Yeah, it tells what a what it weighed. Yeah, what, what was the tonnage? One hundred forty-eight thousand tons. Was it, Bill? Well, well some of the facts, facts on that ship. Here. Oh, those There's facts a, are here. Hold right now. They're back here. I think they're just after. Yeah, I think there was like a sheet of specs he had in there. Was it one hundred eight forty thousand? One hundred forty-eight thousand right tons. Here, here, here it is, sir. Uh, no, that's Let's the see, float plane. There's Did you the see ship. the coins? There's the ship. Structural crew. There I was on. Did you see these coins, Rob? No. I didn't know what was in that envelope. Oh, mm, yeah, you gotta see they, the coins. They might have it here. Where are these? From sure. Japan in, or something? In, in or? The, huh? Yeah, no, that, from the Wikipedia way. part they had. Oh. oh okay, that's well, this Rob one here. isn't from the Iowa. This is from the, oh, the vets. Here, oh, okay, that's the veteran coin. But this here's from the Iowa. Collier County. Honor. Honor. Bill, Bill did you go on the honor flight? Yeah, I you went, went up to Washington. Yeah, you did yeah. an honor this flight. Oh, that was wonderful. Yeah, yeah. my Seven friend, friend tons was full of works with them. Yeah, that was that was Roy, a really was good time. Honor flights. Those are great Roy. things. Great things. But these are coins Bill got me from the Iowa. Ah. Here's Bill. I got I found these old coins too. Oh, I got them. Go. They were on oh. the table next to my desk. Look at that one with the big. You know, this is a special is one they sent them. Battleship, I won, then it's on the other hold, side. Hold those, hold Roy. Those, Roy. This is the This Iowa. one starts this, the 75th anniversary. Of the ship? Yes. Wow. And then on the other side... Pacific Battleship you know, the big Center. Ones. Yep. Very neat. That was spent... And they sent you these. For mm -hmm. him told them what you were doing yeah that was nice of them and the poster they blew up for me that was the very poster nice. was a small one they blew that up Where? that was awesome Where's that the was 75 cool. it's 75th anniversary of the ship oh really yep and it's still wow. going Roy well yeah now it's probably 76 July 77. 21st 1940 that's it. keel laid down at New York Naval Shipyard Brooklyn New York Oh, so they laid the keel in 1940? Yep. I'll be darned. When was it launched? Does it say in there? 42, I think. 42. 42, yeah. Took them two years to build? Yep. That was a lot of ship. <laughs> Did it say how thick it was? So it was how... launched in 42, huh? How heavy was it? Well, it displaced it was... 57,000 tons. 57,000 tons? It was big for those days. <laughs> Man. Roy is dying to know how thick the plating was so this, on that this thing. Commemorates when they laid the keel. Here's when he was when I went to Japan. Yeah. So you went to Okinawa. Seventy-five years. That Look at that coin, Bill. That's something. I never really studied that out. Battleship Iowa, BB sixty-one. Where'd you get that coin? They sent it to me. Really? Here's Solid who, gold, too. Huh? Here's who sent it to you. Where's the... Roy, have a, have a seat here on the bench, and let's look at some of these pictures. Here. Let's have you go through some of these here, and John tell Durango us... John Durango sent it to you, Roy. Huh? He, he's in charge of the ship now. Who is that? Durango? Yeah, he's in charge of the ship. It says here it took here, a month to, to go from San Francisco to uh, Japan when you were on it. It landed in Okinawa. Yeah. A whole yeah. month to get down there. Do you remember Okinawa at all? I didn't go to Okinawa. You didn't get off the ship? Uh, well, I don't know. Did it go to Okinawa? Yeah, it said. Well, you had some stories about getting off the ship in Japan. Yeah, I got off in Japan. Going and seeing some of them geisha girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what a time. Yeah, I didn't that. indulge. What? You didn't. No, sentence. you were a good guy. But I observed. Yeah. You observed? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All ogled, your friends. Ogled, but didn't indulge. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> did you Did you go back? Do you remember going back to Seattle? Was that right when you, when you left? Yeah, that's where I, I got discharged. In Seattle. In Seattle. I think it was, yeah. You guys will lose them, I guess. You know what? Yeah. It doesn't sell how thick right, the sit, plating was. Sit right there. in the corner there. <laughs> sit right there in the corner, right? so I can sit next to you and can look at some of those pictures. Here, you can, there. Louis, stay there. Yeah, stay there, stay. You, there, can, stay. you can help him. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sit back down. There's yeah. a lot of room for everybody. 
Let's see some of these pictures here. Maybe you can tell us what we're looking at. Okay, these are the well, look at there's those a guns. broadside. There's an awful lot of fire belching out, I'll tell you. Boy, here's the ship. Oh, the 16 picture. inch guns are the biggest cannons that were ever fired in the history of the world. Hmm. The Japanese made an 18 incher, but they never got a chance to shoot it off. That's At the least not, of the ship. not There's in the their day. war. This was the thing that they did when they launched it. Ready to launch. There's only five of these in existence. This what, what date wow. is this? Is 1942. This is. Here it is. That's the guy who sent it to me. Well, his wife. He's no longer with us. 42. Yeah. That's the oh, date. Oh, he put the date on there. Yeah, yeah. that's the launching of the ship. That's good All the steel day. workers got one of these, but there's only five of these in existence. Wow. And Roy's got one in there. Rob, this says some of the information on the... Oh, the, how boat. big it was. And, and how much wire they used. Wow. Yeah, read some of that out. Some of that's... Yeah. It says, the operation of the ship involves 900 motors, 5,300 lighting fixtures, 1,091 telephones. Wow. Read some of this stuff. Yeah, the amount of... A million driven rivets. Hand driven. <laughs> And driven. And the construction are 4,209,000 feet or 800 miles of welding. 800 miles <laughs> and a million rivets. Wow. Yeah. The amount of blueprint paper used for the issuing of plans is 175 tons. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, yeah, 175, 175 tons, tons of, paper. of blueprints. Oh, yes. my Lord. That's more than I had for my apartment buildings when I, when I, I designed think so. them. Yeah. I like that. I used to moan about the blueprints I had to do for that. 175 tons of blueprints. 175 they, they use tons just of blueprints. <laughs> just a paper. Oh, just four. to think of the people looking at those blueprints. No wonder four, it took them two years. 400,000 pounds of paint was used. 400,000 pounds. Just the paint. And sufficient to paint a fence five feet high, Around 273 miles long. That was just for the paint? Mm -hmm. The wall. They can paint the wall. <laughs> the whole wall. 5,000 lighting fixtures. Well, we had one of those in our stateroom. And a thousand telephones. We had one of those too. Yeah, let's look at your, your yeah, radio. Sorry, there's some more, some more. What's this? That's right amazing. 30 million Navy Yard man hours went into the Iowa. Wow. 30 million? Man, man hours. hours. Wow. Just saying, what do they pay those guys? 10 bucks an hour? <laughs> Back then? No, no not. probably not. <laughs> Maybe $2 or if they're lucky. Just think of that welding. Think of the welders. How many miles of welding was there? 800 miles 800 or something. Miles? 800 miles of welding. Yeah. <laughs> and 1 million, over 1 million driven rivets. Hand driven rivets. Oh, that I is amazing. Can't believe it. What a ship. Here, show them some of these photos here. One second. Oh, look at it in the ways here. Yeah. Look at the size of these ways. Ready to go. Look at it up in the air. Wow. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Well, that's the yeah. uh, original one named uh, the Iowa. Yeah, there, there were four Iowas all together. This oh, there was, were? That's yes. the first one. Ugly Look at the but useful. Look at the first one. Oh, of course, right. They, yeah. Wow. But here, let's go oh, to they some. ordered it in 39. That's right. That's before the Jap, uh, Japs bombed us. That's right. Yeah. I wonder why. Did they know right, that? Here's the, some of the, here, let's get some of the photos. Here. Fine. This I is wonder the why specs. they ordered that big... Ship before the this Japs the guy on the ship. declared war. <coughs> they knew what was coming. <coughs> this is some of the food that the guy that yeah. they would use daily. Here, read this. Read some it. Of, okay. Tell us about the food. I know you <laughs> like food. Here, start here. Where is it? Each gun's length is 66 feet 8 inches with a maximum range of 24 miles. Wow. An armor piercing projectile weighs over one ton. A high capacity projectile nearly as much. One projectile costs nine hundred and twenty nine thousand dollars. Almost a thousand bucks for a for a for a cannonball? Yes. <laughs> How much? Thousand dollars in those yeah. days. Nine hundred dollars for a cannonball. Yeah. In those a, days. a powder charge is hundred and sixty five. Okay, the secondary battery, let's see if there's a bad food. How here. much powder did it put in? Okay, in, in, in the Iowa there live over two thousand five hundred men who enjoy many of the conveniences of any town of similar wow. population. I was one of them. 
Um, 2,500 consume. consumed seven tons of food, food a day. day. <laughs> now, I, I had my share. I had only one ton. <laughs> <laughs> but here's... Hey, oh. Look what it's costing. A million six, no, or sixteen hundred dollars a day for food to, to feed Roy. That's Just to fun. feed Roy, yeah. <laughs> Here, one, one eighty-four tons of, tons of frozen meat. Yeah, wow. six hundred fifty tons of dry stores. Oh, look! The soda fountain produces nine thousand gallons of ice cream every month. And if you only <laughs> have ice cream on there, that's right? important. And everything. Hold on. Where's the clothes the, laundry? One second. I'm looking for this, the picture of the projectiles. If somebody's looking as we go here, somewhere in here we have the picture of the projectiles. Let's see. Where the heck are they here? Here they are. Look at those. Oh, yeah. wow. Those are the yeah, ones. Yeah, I know. I remember those. Those are the ones that went into the guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, say you could see the... them coming out. They were so big. You yeah, yeah. Outside, put put them in with a front end loader. Yeah. Jeez. 16 inches. Wow. Got a size of those things. Yeah, hey, look huge. at it! Look at it going down the ways. Yeah, now yeah. you want to think of something. Think of these ways that would carry that tonnage. Oh, well, it wow. said it replaces fifty-seven. What was it? Thousand tons of water. Wow! Yeah, got some of those. Those are neat. Look at those pictures of those. Yeah, this one firing, firing from both All sides. All sixteen guns, sixteen-inch yeah, guns. Look at that! Look at that! What a blast! Look at that thing! Look at those. Man, a blast. So I imagine that thing rocked over well, to the yeah, side. The when it... Oh, yeah, yeah, they would have shattered the ship. Yeah, here, look at this one. Wow. Yeah, good Lord, uh, both sides. Man. Jabs must have been creeping up on both sides, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they knew Roy was there. He's so yeah. politically there's correct. A, yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a chair. Maybe that was where, I bet that's where I hung out, right back there. I think so. Yeah, well, I know it was at the end of the big long room. because the right. Hold that up. I want to get another. Look at all the cables. That is where Roy was stationed in the communications room. And he thinks that's where he was, down the end of the hall. Yeah. Away I from had a bunch of radio. There are a bunch of radio operators down there. They're wow. Sitting ahead of me. Yeah, there's more stories. What was your actual job? Well, I was a, a communications officer. I was just in charge of the whole thing. And there were men under me. and. Wow. Uh, and these are all stories of people and who served then, on the and then ship. I decoded the wow. uh, messages. Oh, you decoded. They needed an officer <coughs> to decode. This guy, he, <coughs> he stole the captain's ashtray, and he when it became a museum, he replaced it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, Captain Entwistle, by George. 60, 56 I years. Yeah, he had the ashtray on his desk. Yeah. When he left the ship, the captain wasn't there, so he stole the ashtray, and when it became a museum, he returned it. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Six years later. These are all stories, and this is the whole oh, wow. history of the ship from the day they made it to the day it was well, And this shows where Roy, when Roy was on it in 1945, when Hey, it, hi, guys. From California. This is Scott, uh -huh. you guys. Yeah. Scott and Karen. Hey. Hi, Karen. How's it going? Yeah. You know Rob, Bill, and uh, yeah, you know, what's up, guys? Jeff, yes, right? Louis, Louis. We're just uh, going through the going through the book the here, book. looking at the That's pictures. A great just book. Got all those what a great job! About yeah. Yeah. Oh. That was a, that was yeah. Yeah. that was up in the beginning somewhere. That was one of the more interesting things. Yeah. Still didn't figure out how thick it was, how thick the steel was. Here, the Iowa it displaced enough water to flood 46 acres of land. Or 993 cigars, one foot deep. Wow. Just that's just the water depleting. Wow. Awesome that was blowing up for him. the electrical generator says 10,000 kilowatts, equivalent to handle the industrial domestic load of a city of about 20,000 population. Wow. It would generate enough juice for 20,000. Can you believe it? We what can. a piece of machinery this was. Total length of cable used is 250 miles. 250 miles of cable? Right. <laughs> and the numerous conductors in some of these cables placed end to end would reach 1,700 miles. Wow. 1,700 miles of cable. Can you believe it? No. <laughs> this is just unbelievable. I think they're making it up. <laughs> Yeah. That is amazing. But what was that about the, 
the, the, the blueprints, that's unbelievable. Yeah, here, that one's up the here. 17, 75 tons or something. Here, this one. The amount of blueprint paper used for the issuing of plans is 175 tons. 175 tons. <laughs> Equal to a strip 30 inches wide and 1,100 miles long. <laughs> Just kind of checking the blueprints, 1,100 miles of blueprints. <laughs> Can you believe it? That is ah, ah. a staggering number. Ah. Can you imagine? Well, now they're all on computers and 1100 things. 1,100 miles. Hey, there's the bottle they broke on. Yeah, she was the, the, the vice president's wife christened she it. She christened it? Yeah. Henry Wallace, huh? Wife, uh, sponsor, I don't know. Vice President. Christian the Vessel yeah. today launching this Vice President of Native of Iowa. Wow. Oh, she's a Native of Iowa. Ah, 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 ah. And they. Well, I guess the they're, bottle she other guys will show weigh, up. Will weigh five and a half pounds with this container. The back of the holders were perforated with a star shape. And I guess they got to be darn sure they smash that bottle because <laughs> it's yeah. bad luck if you bounce it off the hull and don't smash it. That happens every once in a yeah. while when they christen so, ships. So they really, they really wham it. Because yep. the bottle looks like it's pretty heavy glass. Well, I know you've got some, a lot of memories. Huh. A well, lot I of wasn't memories. there when they launched it. But I mean, just being on that ship, you have but a lot that, of memories. It took two years to build, apparently. We got that figured out. The only thing we don't know is how thick the plating was. Yeah, I hmm. see that anymore. What was it, 48,000 tons? Um, that's, a, that's, it steel. Steel. that's how much water it replaces in, when it goes in the water. 48,000 tons. Huh. And there were a couple of earlier ones. Coins all this over there. What was the name of the captain? N Twistle. Oh, N Twistle. N Twistle. N Twistle or C Quistle? No, N Twistle. <laughs> all right. Sounds like a good German name. Well, Roy, I got to get rolling. Well, it was fun did. looking at the old memories there. It's too bad. Yeah, and this, char this chart, boy. It's too bad our friend didn't show up. No, no, Darn, that would have really been. I hope he's okay. Well, we didn't he set up this meeting? Yes, yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. Hopefully he's okay. Yeah, he said 9 o'clock down Maybe here. Maybe he'll get back to us. He's the one who set it up. That's all right. <laughs> I got to ask you something. Sure I want to get a picture of you, Roy, with your Iowa hat on, but... The light's not good right here. Yeah, he's the one who gave me. Hey, Roy, you want to stand up and I get a picture of you? Yeah, it's, let me let me get a picture of you with, with your new hat. Ah. Love it, love it, love it. All God right. Sake. Well, maybe we'll find out what happened and he'll come back another time because I'd love to hear the two of you chatting about that ship. Ah, Sorry, ah, he didn't ah. make it today. Yeah, he's the one who gave me this nice hat. That isn't. That was. I don't know why he didn't make it. There, why don't you well, hold like that I said, one, Roy? I hope he was. Hold on to that, because that tells you what he was. Yeah, you That'd get a nice good. picture of that, too. My printer at home is black and white. Can yeah. you make me a color picture? You got to get to the store. You got to get to He can send it to Walgreens me, I'll print one. or something. Send yeah, it to me, and I'll print one. Okay. Oh, really? Yep. I'll print yeah, I appreciate one. that. Well, I can take a photo, a still photo, and then send it. You just email it directly. All right. Do you want me to do that? All right, Roy. I'll see you tomorrow, all right? Okay. It's been fun. It Some sure good has. stories. All right, Roy, I'll see you in one sec. Bill, do you want well, me to I get those where I'm yeah. old? Should I email it to you? or? Well, if you email it to me, I'll get it printed. Okay, what's your email? Hang on, folks. We'll be right back. Um, Find someone who has a phone. They tried to activate his old phone, but you can't activate because he's got to have a phone. Perfect. He has nothing down here. If you want me to make that comment, Thanks, Bill. Okay, buddy. Great morning, great morning. Beautiful day. Wow. Hey, did you, you find, did you, you didn't even go for your beach walk yet, did you? I haven't had a chance. <laughs> okay, see you guys later. Louie, take it easy. Yeah. Bye, Roy. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Great converse. Great morning with Roy. Great time spent with Roy there. Sharing his memories of the old Battleship Iowa. We are definitely out here in paradise this morning. I want to thank everybody for joining me.
do take the time to check out my photos and videos. When you find something you like, please hit the like and share button both. Make sure you like and follow Southwest Florida Television. Also follow Nonstop Naples. Nonstop Naples. You'll find me there occasionally doing a live feed on Nonstop Naples Facebook page. If you're thinking of visiting our little piece of paradise here down in Southwest Florida, beautiful Naples, Florida, you might want to consider looking into staying at the Inn of Naples. The Inn of Naples. Great little hotel, centrally located, friendly people. I highly recommend it, the Inn of Naples. And of course, nobody pays me to be out here. I love coming out here. I love bringing everybody together during these beach walks. But if you're feeling generous and you wanna send a little tip, it's always appreciated. It helps pay the phone bill. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. I'm gonna walk out here and give you one more look at the water. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. We did not see the, any dolphins this morning. However, I, one did come by. One was spotted up while I was walking here, but I missed it. We didn't see it, unfortunately. But they come by periodically throughout the day, the dolphins. They're out there. Isn't that water beautiful? Just beautiful colors. Nice and clear and clean, no red tide. Paradise. No ifs, ands, or buts. This is paradise. Well, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow morning, God willing. Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, wherever you might be watching from. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.